Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt Kiteboarding Wing Wednesdays. I'm Tucker, and today I'm gonna to talk you through my uh, review, kind of impressions of the Cabrina Mantis Wing. What are my two cents on this wing after riding a few different sizes, the window, the non-window version. Uh, my personal preference, non-window, I'd rather cut out the weight, um, have a wing that's going to wear a little bit more uniformly in terms of the materials. Uh, anytime you're adding a different kind of material in the middle of the canopy, that's a point where you're gonna get some strange wear patterns and, and having two different densities of fabric next to one another. Um, years down the line, not anytime soon, could actually create um, some, some hinging points and eventually wear down the fabric prematurely in that area. So personally, I don't really use the windows very much. Having non-windows just makes it, you know, a little cleaner, a little, little easier to deal with in my opinion. And, and in terms of surf performance, lightweight performance is just a little better. Um, that being said, I've ridden the window version. I really didn't dislike it, didn't get in my way, no, nothing wrong with it. Um, around here, we're just not really that crowded. You know, we really need the windows. If you're somewhere, you know, where you're just shoulder to shoulder with people and riders everywhere, you know, maybe that window could be, could be handy. Not that I would use that as a crutch. You still gotta move your wing out of the way and look, see the full picture of events, not just some little sliver that you see in the window. Um, but it could certainly be helpful for glancing downwind. Uh, in a situation like that, or if somebody's you know, somehow coming in that direction um, to help you out in that situation. So if you're really in a super crowded area, maybe check out the window version as well. Um, the wing from the Mantis, or the Mantis wing is really best suited, I think, in, in surf, in free ride situations, and in high winds. This wing is very predictable, very stable. The power delivery is really predictable and smooth. Um, you know, you really can't ask much more from this wing in terms of surf performance. It just sits there right where you want it. It's out of the way. When you need it, it's there. It's not just going to yard you off your board if you get a big gust. Um, you know, and, and the lift is manageable, even going over swell. So it's, it's just a really user-friendly wing. Um, I would also put this wing in the hands of new riders, absolutely, uh, as long as they have decent wind. You know, one thing the Mantis hasn't done really well, in my opinion, is really light wind grunt. You know, if you have adequate wind, especially if you know what you're doing, it's gonna work well. But you get a wing like the King X2 that really excels in that low end grunt, that really just spiky, grunty kind of power, um, it's gonna be a little better in super light winds. You know, that being said, I've had the five out in some real light winds, you know, a little, a little pumping action and it gets no problem. Um, but if you're a new rider, especially in super light winds, you know, the bigger, bigger models in the Crosswing X2 are probably what you're looking for. And then maybe a Mantis, you know, for your step up wing for the good days uh, where you're properly powered. Um, in terms of power delivery on the Mantis, you know, lately I've been talking a lot about different types of power, you know, so we've got wings that are really grunty and they spike power. If you get a gust, it's really gonna feel it. You know, you got smooth wings where, you know, even in gusty or unpredictable winds, you know, it's, it's really smooth and the power delivery is manageable. It's not gonna yard you off your board if you're riding powered. Um, and then you've also got where the lift is putting uh, the pull. So is it pulling upward, like lofty? Is it, is it creating lift? Is it moving forward, creating momentum? Um, I would say the Mantis is somewhere in between. It's a blend of lift and forward momentum. So it's a very versatile wing. You know, it, it's really good kind of for all disciplines in that regard. Um, not gonna be a superstar in terms of generating the biggest jumps on the planet. Um, it's not gonna really be a superstar in terms of speed on a race course, you know, or, or riding as fast as possible. Um, but for those of us riders that are free riding, surfing, you know, maybe doing a little jumping, maybe doing a little recreational racing or something like that. Um, the Mantis really fits that bill perfectly. You know, it's a jack of all trades. It's not a niche wing for jumping or racing, but really I think so few people are even in that realm where they could benefit from that kind of performance that uh, a more neutral wing like the Mantis really makes a lot more sense. 
So what do I think of the wing? Well, it's a great wing from Cabrina. The price is insane. I would say this is the best wing in the market for your dollar. I haven't seen anything else in this price range, especially nothing, nothing that leaves uh, this level of performance from the wing. Um, so I think this is gonna be a massive hit for us. We haven't even really talked about it that much. And it's always already been super popular in our shop here. Uh, so really stoked to see where the Mantis goes. If anyone out there you know, is, is interested in a wing and you don't have a lot of money to spend, this one should probably be at the top of your list um, and, and things to buy. So, what did I not about the Mantis? Um, well, I've kind of touched on it already a little bit. It doesn't have crazy lift for huge jumps. It doesn't have a huge amount of grunt for super light wind riding, you know, 10 to 12 knots. You know, it's not really your first wing you're gonna grab on a day like that. Um, but versatile performance, especially in the surf, especially powered, this thing is, is really good. Material-wise, can't be beat. Um, if I had any bad things to say about it, and this again is, is getting pretty nitpicky like I usually do, but the fact that it lacks harness line attachment points is sort of a bummer. Um, normally I would say I would just connect them to the, the harness or the wing handles here. Um, and you can definitely do that. I wouldn't necessarily want to hook them in the middle here because they kind of get away, get in the way of your hands. So, you know, you're probably putting them on the insides of the stanchions here like that, um, which works, you know, it doesn't give you a lot of adjustment on how it feels at the harness line, but I've used one on it. It works pretty good. Um, but ideally I would have loved to see like a harness line attachment, you know, somewhere in here. Um, but it's a nitpicky thing, you know, do you want to pay a little bit more and have a future like that? I don't know. You know, the Mantis is such a good wing um, in a lot of times in the surf, you know, for the kind of riders that are using this, you know, um, you know, a lot of those riders aren't using harness lines necessarily. So, you know, take it or leave it. It's always nice to have it there if you can, but you can definitely make do without it if you want to use a harness line and, and a lot of people aren't going to be using a harness line. So. It's good for that. Um, I already mentioned, I wish they would have added either a secondary inflation for the strut. That way you could change your pressure independently. You know, sometimes I like to dump a little pressure on the leading edge on a high wind day so it can deform a little bit more and absorb those gusts. Um, it's not a big deal, um, but it is nice to have. And that also helps you dump the strut a little bit more efficiently when you go to pack up at the end of the day. Um, without independent you know sometimes it's nice just to have a dump valve here on the side of the strut to do that you know if they didn't do that again um, would I want to pay more for a wing that has that feature um, it depends on how much it would be you know <laughs> like I, I'd probably pay an extra fifty dollars to have that feature personally um, but maybe not everybody is. you know maybe maybe it's more than that I don't really know um, but those are just some small nitpicky things, you know, for me, uh, in terms of the bag, this bag's unique to the Mantis, sort of a stuff sack style bag. It does have a nice vent, a nice, uh, reinforced bottom, lots of straps to put on bars or other wings or whatever you want to attach to this bag. So you can kind of backpack it in, so to speak, has a nice big front zipper on the back. You've got a padded across the chest strap or you can also use these sort of uh, gym bag sort of straps here like a backpack as well so it's a nice bag it's lightweight it's got all the features it needs to uh, but also you know it's not a hundred dollar bag either so i think you know they have some great features there especially given the price of the wing all right this has been Tucker with MattKiteboarding.com. If you have any other always, feel free to reach out to us at the shop. It's 800-622-4655.